Hello and good day. Welcome back to our class. This is Teacher Onely Guzman, and our topic for today is solving a right triangle given the length of two legs. This is for grade 9, quarter 4. In this math tutorial video, covers the fourth and the last case of solving right triangles in which the lengths of two legs are given. So the figure below illustrates this case. So let's look on the triangle P and G. So we have NG, hypotenuse system missing. NP is one of the legs is given. So this one is NP. PG is one of the legs is also given. However, on the three angles, angle N is unknown. Angle P is the right, the angle is given, and angle G is missing. So in this case, the missing parts are the hypotenuse and the two acute angles. So let's consider the illustration on the right side. Find the measurement of the missing parts of the tri right triangle P and G. So we have the right triangle P and G. So, given that G is one of the legs, so that is on the side NP, as well as the side N or line segment PG is equal to 4P. So, we would like to find the side P or the hypotenuse. Since two sides of the triangles are already given, use the Pythagorean theorem to find the hypotenuse such that we have P squared is equal to G squared plus N squared. But if I'll extract this uh, the square root of both sides, so that is why square root of p squared is equal to the square root of g squared plus n squared. Now substitute the value of g of n and n respectively. So I have p is equal to square root of 90 squared plus 4p squared. Simplifying it further, 90 squared is equal to 81 plus 4p squared is equal to 1600. So, P is equal to square root of 1,681, or P is equal to 41 units. Let's move on to the second example. So, let's find the angle N. So, if we will consider the illustration, so by looking at the figure, so this is angle N. So, side G is adjacent to angle N, and side N is the opposite to angle N. So to solve for the angle N, use TOA, it means that the tangent opposite adjacent. So recall that the tangent N is equal to opposite of over adjacent, such that the opposite is equal to 40 all over 9. So tangent N is equal to 40 over 9. But I'm looking for the value of N, so that is why I'll... Okay, press the R tangent or tangent raised to negative 1 in our scientific calculator. Okay, open and close parenthesis 40 over 9. So using our scientific calculator, N is equal to 77.3196651. Or the value of N is equal to 77 degrees 19 minutes and 10.62 seconds using our scientific calculator. Let's move on to the next example. So this time, find angle G. So if we will look on our illustration, so side N is adjacent to angle G. So this is the side N, while the side G is the opposite of angle G. To solve angle G, we use the TOA. It means the tangent opposite adjacent. So, take note that tangent G is equal to opposite all over adjacent. So, that is the opposite G over N. Simplifying it further, tangent G is equal to 9 over 40 by simply substituting the value of G and N respectively. Moving on, since I'm looking for the angle G, so I'll press now tangent or arc tangent. 9 over 40. So I'll get now here that G is equal to 12.680 8, 3, 8, 3, Or 
angle G is equal to 12 degrees, 40 minutes, and 49.38 seconds. So that ends our discussion on solving right triangle. Again, this is Teacher Onan Bikusman. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel so that you will be notified about my new videos. Thank you.